Coming up on one minute. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting. We are go. T minus 50 seconds. Coming up on the 40 second mark. T minus 40 seconds and counting. T minus 40. All reports look good. All aspects of the mission go. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Now T minus 21 seconds and counting. Ready to go. Coming up on the 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. Hello and welcome to Kids at 11 Online. It's great to have you with us this week. Um, we're just getting organized for a game um, and you can try and join in if you like. Um, Lucy, Lucy, um, we need a sticky notes pad. <coughs> okay, she's going to find that. George, yes, can you go and find us some pens, please, to write on the paper with? Okay, go and do that. <coughs> well done, Lucy. <coughs> You've dropped it. <coughs> I've got the pen. Thank you, George. That's great. Well done. Right. Now we need to uh, write on the bits of paper. Lucy, have you got that uh, pad yet? Right. Write down the name of a person on each piece of paper. Yeah. And um, then lay the note down on the table so none of us can read what the others have read. OK, I can do that. You can do that as well. Great, Lucy. Um, and then we'll each take a note. Are you listening? And we're going to stick it on our forehead. Our oh, forehead? Yes, so that we can't see what it says, but everyone else can. <coughs> That's right, yes, absolutely, Lucy. And um, anyway, while we're getting ready for the game, um, here's what's on this week. Uh, quite a lot we've got to fit in this week. Um, anyway, we are now ready for the game. We've stuck our pieces of paper on our foreheads and none of us know what it says on our own particular forehead. Um, George, would you like to go first? Yes, I would. Um, now, George, you have up to 10 questions um, and they're yes or no uh, uh, questions. What that means is you can only ask a question where Lucy and I can answer <coughs> yes or no. And um, you then have to try and guess what it says on the piece of paper on your head, which you're sort of pretending to be. OK, do you want to give it a go, George? Yes, I would. Right, OK, just show everybody at home first, though, what it says on your piece of paper. That's it. Go close up to the camera, and I hope everybody can read that. Can you read it, George? No, I can't. That's brilliant. Right, OK, George, your first question, then. Uh, I ran on. Um, no, George, George, you have to answer questions where we can only answer yes or no. So try again. Alan. No. Alan. No. Uh, yes, yes, you're a boy. Oh, uh, do I go to school? Yes, you do, yes. Is it a famous school? Yes, it is. Am I famous? Uh yes, yes. Uh, was I famous as a baby? Were you famous as a baby? Yes, 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 you were. Uh am I Prince George? Uh no, you're not Prince George. Am I Harry Potter? Yes, yes, well done, George. Well done. That was very well played. Did you do well, Lucy? Yes, yes. Now I think it's time for me to have a go, don't you think? Okay. Right, um, let me just go up close to the camera so that uh, you can see what it says on mine, all right? 
Okay, and I've got to guess who that is. Um, now, am I a boy? No. Um, am I a girl? No. Um, am I a man? No. Am I a woman? No. Um, am I a person? No. Uh, am I a dog? No. Am I an animal? No. Am I a robot? No. Am I a ghost? No. Am I a fruit? Yes, unless you turn questions up. Uh, what do you mean? It's meant to be a person. What do you mean, bit of fruit? I'll tell you what, if my next question had been, am I a banana, would I have been right? Yes, you would have been. Uh, was that your idea, George? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> well, it's not easy to find out people's names sometimes, and I have trouble remembering. So can you remember the names of the 12 disciples? Well, that's quite important, because uh, today's story is going to be about Jesus and his disciples. Um, but here's a favourite song of mine. It helps us to remember the names of the disciples. It's called 52 Mab Street. 52 Mab Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Mab Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. You get your five J's. John, James, James, son of Avius, Judas, Judas Iscariot, you two P's, Peter and Philip. 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. You get the name map. M for Matthew, A for Andrew, B for Bartholomew, you get the ST, Simon and Thomas. 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names. You get your five J's. John, James, James, son of Abbeus, Judas, Judas Iscariot, you two peas, Peter and Philip. 52 Map Street is a reunion way of learning the disciples' names. 52 Map Street is a reunion way of learning the disciples' names. You get the name map. ST Simon and Thomas 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names 52 Map Street is a reunite way of learning the disciples' names way of learning the disciples' names way of learning the disciples' names Good morning and welcome to our game today of See It, Say It. Now the first thing you're going to see, you've got to tell me what you see. Have a look. Is it a duck or is it a rabbit? It could be either. It's quite a famous one that one. Now on this one, can you tell which is the darker end of the spectrum? Which is the darker end? Can you tell? Do you know what? If you put your finger on the grey bit in the middle, you can see that they're both exactly the same all the way through. And this next one, you can see which side is longer. Which side is longer of the, of the up-down lines? Which one is the longest? And you know what? If you put your fingers up again, you'll see they're both the same. That's tricky, isn't it? And in this picture, can you see a woman? Now, can you see the young woman or the old woman or both? The young woman has lots of dark hair and a hat, but the old woman where the young woman's necklace is, 
that's actually her, the older woman's mouth and she's got her head right down. Can you see those? It's amazing, isn't it? Sometimes you can see something and you can, can't quite work out what it is. In our story today, Jesus asks the people, who do you think I am? And it's Peter that can see past all the other stuff and works out. Shall we see what he thinks? And I wonder, what does Jesus see in Peter? Let's find out. Peter's Confession of Jesus Jesus and his disciples went to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. On the way, Jesus asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said, John the Baptist. Others say Elijah. And still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Jesus asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, God bless you, Simon. You didn't get that answer out of books. My Father in heaven, God himself, let you in on the secret of who I really am. You are Peter, Peter the rock. And on this rock I will build my church and the gates of death will never overpower it. Then he warned the disciples not to tell anyone else about him. Did you notice from the story the name of where the story takes place? It takes place in Caesarea Philippa, which was a new district named after the Roman Emperor, Caesar, and the Romans called Caesar God. And Jesus brought his disciples here to ask a very important question. A question with an answer that is easy to answer, but makes the disciples think long and hard about what they've just said. So remember, Jesus and his disciples are in a place called Caesarea Philippa, which is named after the Roman Emperor Caesar who to the Romans is God. And the question Jesus asks his disciples is, who do you say I am? And do you remember from today's reading, which disciple answered the question by Jesus? Yes, that's right, it was Peter. And Peter said, you are the son of God. So think about it. Jesus and his disciples are standing in a place where the Roman Emperor is called God. Peter has said, Jesus, you are the Lord, which means Peter is also saying that the Roman Emperor is not God. And Jesus says, well done, Peter. Uh, you are correct, go to the top of the class. Uh, what Jesus is saying is, the Roman Emperor Caesar is not a God. Because Jesus is the only king. He's the only king in history who has championed forgiveness, compassion and self-sacrifice and has actually done it consistently throughout. You can trust in Jesus to listen to you, to help you and to love you at all times. You can always trust in Jesus. Now, here's a big question for you. If Jesus stood in front of you today and said, who do you think I am? What would be your answer? Would your answer be the same as Peter's? And when you've answered that question, Here's another question for you to think about. If you were with one of your friends and they asked, who is Jesus? What would you say? 
Now, I would love to hear your answers, um, so send them to me here at this address here. Now, meanwhile, did you know that Peter wasn't always called Peter? He was named by his parents as Simon. But Jesus was so pleased with him, he changed his name to Peter, because Peter means rock. And Jesus wanted Peter to be the leader of the new church that was to be built upon the rock, to be built upon Peter. And Peter is the rock of our church, and that church grew and grew and grew, and we're part of that church today. Now, isn't that amazing? From a simple question in a place called Caesarea, Caesarea Philippi, back in the Roman times. It's time now for our prayers. And for our prayers today, you need a stone. Got a stone? Stones are incredible things. People have been using stones over many, many years to mark out special places or for special things. Some people even got, climb up big mountains and leave a stone behind to mark that they've been there. A pile of stones like this is called a cairn. And today I'm going to start a prayer cairn here on the Thomas Llewellyn Me Memorial in the car park at church. And if you want to add your stone to that, you can, or you can keep it at home. Now what you want to do is get a stone and write on it something you want to pray for. I'm going to pray for families. Can you see that? Families, because I think it's been a tough time for families. Been stuck at home and can't do all the normal things that they would normally do. And so I'm going to pray for families. I wonder what you might pray for. You could write it on a stone or paint or draw a picture. And then I'm going to put my stone here. And it's going to be the start of a prayer can. So if you'd like to add a stone to that prayer can, then you can. And I've written gospel rocks on it as well. So people could come and they could have a look at it. And they might even take it off and hide it somewhere else. But that's okay. So, maybe you could hold the thing you want to pray for just in your head at the moment rather than on a stone. And we're going to pray. Thank you, God, that we can be the church wherever we are. Please will you help us as we go back to normal life in the next couple of weeks, heading back to school and doing all sorts of other things. And now that thing that we've held in our heads, will, we help, will you help us to hand it over to you, whether it's a worry or a joy? thank you that you are interested in all the big things and the little things of our lives and thank you that you build your church with people on the rock of St Peter from all those years ago. Amen. See it says hashtag St Faith's Lee on one side, hashtag gospel rocks on the other and I'm praying for families. Time to make it. So let's make it today. It's all about a church because in our reading Jesus said on Peter he was going to build his church. Now Peter it wasn't his real name. His real name was Simon and Simon was called Peter and Peter means rocky. So rocky means he was strong and tough. I wonder if you've got a nickname but I wonder what strong or tough thing you might build a church from. You could build a church with some junk modelling. How about this? It's a tape. Ta-da! A church! There's the church and there's the steeple. 
I wonder, if we looked inside, would we see all the people? Or you could build your church from... Blocks! I wonder if you've got any building blocks at home and you could build a church from blocks. your church from blocks. No? Or maybe you could build your church from Lego. Ta-da! A Lego church! I wonder what you might choose. So today in Let's Make It you could build your church from anything and maybe you could send us pictures. There's one final thing I want to show you though that you could build your church from and you won't believe it. So the last thing I'm gonna challenge you to build your church from is jelly babies and spaghetti. So let's have a go at building a church with jelly babies and spaghetti. this one best not because it's the strongest or the biggest or the tallest not because it's the tastiest not because of any of those reasons but because it's the people that hold it together and that's true of all our churches isn't it Jesus said I will build my church not on an actual stone or an actual hill but on a person because it's you and it's me and it's everybody that makes up the church all over the world that Jesus is building his church on. So it doesn't matter if you haven't been to St Faith's for a little while, because wherever you are, you can be the church. The people make the church. Not these people though, these people are made of sweets. Very tasty. Amazing! We've just been playing um, Guess the Person game with Lucy and she got it right. Yeah, she got it right in two questions. Amazing. Uh, question one, she said, Oh, a lady. And we said, Yes. We did, we said yes. <coughs> and then she said, Oh, I the Queen. <laughs> and she was correct. <coughs> so we said, Yes, yes. There you go, look. The Queen! <laughs> well done Lucy, absolutely amazing! Um, now you can play this game at home yourselves if you want to, um, why not give it a try? Um, and now it's time for our next song and it's uh, Trust in the Lord. And don't forget, to do the actions uh, properly you're going to need somebody to lean against. Yeah you are! Um, so uh, get a brother or sister or, 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 or a monkey, yeah or a monkey. <laughs> Or a, bear, or a mother or a father or, or anybody else really yeah you can do that um, and to join in with this song uh, trust in the Lord <laughs> trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding this is what it says in Proverbs 3 verse 5 don't rely on what you've got, learn to rely on the Lord. Everybody, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. 
this is what it says. In Proverbs 3 verse 5, don't rely on what you got, learn to rely on the Lord on your own. What it says in Proverbs 3 verse 5 Don't rely on what you got Learn to rely on the Lord So that's all from us here at Kids at 11 Online. Uh, before we go, I've got a few jokes to share with you which have been sent in by you lot. Um, you could call this toilet humour because the first joke is what did one toilet say to the other? You look a bit flushed. <laughs> oh, go on, oh, go on. What do you call a dog in your toilet? I don't know. What do you call a dog in your toilet? I'm going to regret this. A poodle. A poodle. <laughs> That's very good, George. Um, Here's one for you then, George. Um, why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, to get to the bottom. <laughs> I told you it was toilet humour, didn't I? Oh, you did, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this week, why not try and make a model of a church? Um, maybe the church of the future. Um, the future after the lockdown. Yeah, add all the features that you think are oh, a super church. Um, yeah, one that we would like to attend uh, and come and see you at. And uh, send us a picture um, to me at kids at 11 online at this address below. Yeah, can you see that? Thank you, George. Um, also, go and make a prayer card. Yes, go and make a prayer card. Um, I'm going to go down to the beach um, and place some stones down there. What do you think? Great idea. OK, we'll be back again next week. And so it's goodbye from me. <laughs> goodbye from Lucy by the sounds of it. Say goodbye, George. Good, George. And uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>